Good morning, YouTubers and RV fans. So we're heading out of Austin, Texas, and we're headed to Louisiana as a part of our overnight stop. Gonna go see my mother, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and hit the road on Saturday, um, headed for Jacksonville, Florida. So I hope you come along with us. As we are leaving Bastrop, Mike and Dawn were driving the big Tuscany with the F-150 attached and got stuck and couldn't um, make the turn. So Mike inadvertently backed up just a little bit to make the turn and unfortunately broke his tow hitch. But true to form and being the well-experienced RVers that they are, they crafted a wonderful solution and we were on the road. As we got on the road and got onto the highway, we deci decided to stop at Bucky so that we could go ahead and get some gas and I needed some um, uh, air in my tires. And it was at that moment that I received a text message from Albie indicating that they have taken Chico to the hospital and asking, asking me if I would come out west. It was a shock. Little did I know that this trip was going to be such an epic and profound trip but I had a conversation with Don and Mike and gave them hugs and thanked them for a wonderful time and did an about face and started heading west. My trip out west took me through the beautiful hills and valleys and mountains of western Texas um, and as I proceeded through western Texas I began to ponder and think about the videos that Chico put up uh, on his trip as he foraged through from um, Louisiana to each of the areas that he and I had pre-tripped planned for him to go into Texas and in each area it brought back it brought back a memory um, Katy Texas and Beaumont Texas and all the different places and how he remembered driving through San Antonio and said he didn't want to drive through San Antonio again um, probably as much as how I felt driving through Houston in any event, throughout the trip through Texas, I thought a lot about Chico and was hoping that he was doing well. And my only goal was to get out there and to support him and to be a friend to him. But as I was driving, I could not help myself but realize what beauty this country has to offer us. Today I feel so fortunate to be a full-time RVer and to be able to take my house on the road and go pretty much anywhere in the country. On my way to um, Arizona, I was surprised that I had to stop at a border patrol, but I guess I was pretty close to Mexico. Not knowing which lane to get in, I decided to go ahead and get in the truck lane, and I drove slowly up to the border patrol waiting for them to stop and ask me what my business was coming through our country, I guess, I don't know. Um, but what happened is they just waved me on and so my first border patrol experience was rather uneventful and I'm thankful for that. I'm heading through New Mexico um, actually I'm still heading through Texas in this video and it's the later afternoon and I'm really enjoying the ride and then the next thing I know I'm in Arizona. What a wonderful opportunity it was to drive through this beautiful landscape and here I'm trying to show you the mountains because these are mountains that are bigger than any mountains I've ever seen in my life and there was another RVer one time who told me she said well if you think your mountains in um, um, the Blue Ridge Mountains in the east are big wait till you get out west and you see these incredibly huge mountains and she was right these mountains are massive and enormous I ended up boondocking in New Mexico overnight before getting to Arizona and what I found was that the West is so much more RV friendly and it was very nice to be able to boondock in a rest area and to be able to at least try and sleep through the night before getting back out on the road and um, driving the rest of the trip to Sierra Vista, Arizona. But interestingly enough I didn't sleep well having Chico on my mind and also having um, crazy trucks that had loud generators and loud engines. This is beautiful scenery as I'm going up and down the hills and mountains and valleys of of Arizona and every every um, inch of the way I'm thinking I remember seeing this in Chico's video 
and I remember his comments commenting on the mountains and the vistas and how absolutely stunning they were and how beautiful they were to him. I count myself very lucky to have had Chico as a friend and even though this video is a little bit out of order and we know the outcome of my trip here, I just want to say thank you to him for being a profound and amazing friend in my life, just like a brother. So thank you for enjoying this video and I will get back to my normal videos starting hopefully next week and I thank you for all of your support, your love and your kindness.